Welcome back everyone to Searching for Faith. If you're new here, I'm Tracy. Uh, I am sitting on the couch today because I actually have an injury. <laughs> I sprained my foot. Um, it was a very painful sprain. So definitely be praying that the pain does go away in the days of rest that I have and that I don't have to miss too much work and that it's not a fracture, that the pain goes away and it really is just a sprain. Um, Cause I've had, I'm a bit of a klutz. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this growing up in the Christian circles, but I always heard words like, don't speak bad over yourself or it's like the opposite of manifesting something. It's like, don't speak something like negative over yourself or you'll essentially will it to happen. So I would hear people like elders in my church, even on a regular basis, say, don't speak that into existence. Don't speak that over yourself. Um, you're letting the devil in <laughs> by saying things like that. Um, and I recently learned as an adult in the last couple of years that that's not a Christian thing. That's a very like new age concept that Christians kind of like adopted. Um, so the idea of manifesting things, whether good or bad with our words is not from the Bible. That's not of God. Um, so just as like a little like, I guess, PSA warning, letting you know that that's not a Christian concept, um, that that's definitely something that came from a different realm that was just kind of like adopted within the Christian community. Um, so by saying I am a klutz, I am not speaking injury over myself. I am not willing myself to be a klutz. I feel like by saying I am a klutz, um, I am acknowledging that I have two left feet, that I also have ADHD, so sometimes I'm like distracted, so I have to be super careful about not looking at my phone while I'm walking or, you know, making sure I'm like very focused on what I'm doing. Um, and so I think by admitting that I'm a klutz, I don't know if kl klutziness runs in the family, but me, my sister, and my mom, like all three of us are like total klutzes. I can't tell you how many injuries that I've had, uh, but I think by admitting it to myself, I am acknowledging that it's an issue for me, that it's a problem, and then I can try to fix it. I can try to focus on being aware of my surroundings, not being distracted while I'm walking, wearing proper shoes. So I sprained my foot. So you're sitting on the couch right now. Um, we are going to start today. I'm like super, super excited. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the brand Erin Condren, but I have two big boxes from Erin Condren. I actually have been using their products for a few years now. I'm definitely a stationary girl. I love stationary, which definitely rolls over into my Bible study um, kinds of things. And uh, I've been using Erin Condren products for a while. I've used their, I tried using their life planner, didn't love it. I used their teacher planner for a year and did love it, but it was just like super bulky. But I have like teetered on like deciding like whether to try their different formats of teacher planners. Um, I've used their traveler's notebooks, their just regular monthly planners as like a budget meal planner. Um, I've used all sorts of things from them and I've also used some of their just regular stationary products like pens and, and things like that. So I was looking everywhere for a Bible notes journal and couldn't find what I was looking for. Like I used to years ago and I'll put like kind of like an image right here of what I'm talking about because I don't want to get up to go to the other room to go find it for you guys right now. And that I used to have this Bible notes journal that specifically was for Bible notes. So I was hoping to find something like that. Um, and I keep calling it Bible notes y'all. I like, I'm apparently out of it. What I mean is sermon notes. I was looking everywhere for a sermon notes journal. 
I used to have one I used years ago and I did find you can get like a pad of paper on Amazon that sermon notes and you can find printables on Etsy I'll put some of the things that I found like right here um I did find lots of ex uh, printables on Etsy and I did find a couple of journal um church notes sermon notes journals that you can buy on Etsy um but in the end I just decided to buy a notebook in general um and so one of the I had a bunch of rewards I think it was like like ten dollars off twenty dollars or something like that on uh Erin Condren and one of the wonderful things about Erin Condren is that you can personalize journals so I personalized a journal just a regular journal to have the words I think I put church notes on the outside not sermon notes I think I put church notes but we'll find out when we get there <laughs> when we get to that unboxing um but apparently when I placed that order it like signaled that that was my 20th order with Erin Condren so over the last like I guess five plus years I've been like using their products I've made 20 orders and so when you hit 20 orders they give you a hundred dollars in rewards so I had a hundred dollars to spend and so I kind of went crazy buying stationary products on Erin Condren with the idea of can I use these for my bible studies so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the unboxing sitting right here and then we are going to go sit out at the table and we are going to test out some of these products on Bible paper as well as in my Bible study note journal and just see how they work. I'm really, really excited about some of them. So some of them are legit stationary, like highlighters and pens and things. Uh, and I did get that sermon notes, church notes, notebook. Um, and then I also got a bag. So yeah, so we are going to do some unboxing. So let's go ahead and get started. So, I always love cute packaging. Look at that. Um, so, we have our Enjoy sticker. Right, I think this is the bag. Yeah. This is the bag. If we reach a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a big giveaway. So, I'm probably going to hold on to these boxes. So, uh, for the giveaway so I can send the giveaway items in a really nice box okay so this is the notebook that the bag that I got I wasn't sure how big it is but it's big wow it's this really beautiful I got this mauve color they had lots and lots of options Let's see if I can zoom out at all um they had lots of options um, and I did get my, just my first name on it. And this pretty, like, blue right here. But it has these beautiful, like, watercolor, like, flowers and butterflies. Kind of, like, pull it back so y'all can see it good. This is so pretty. I'll do, like, a little zoom shot, like, um, up close and put it on. Um, but it's so pretty. It's not, like, embroidered or painted directly on. It does feel like more of, like a heat on like applique um but it is really really beautiful it is big um it is just an open canvas bag on the inside but it does have like little side pockets for like a water bottle or something i was considering using this maybe for work or maybe to be like my carry-on on a flight because we are going on this big epic trip to the pacific coast this summer um, and I didn't want to, <sighs> normally I take a book bag, but I've noticed that under seat storage on planes has gotten smaller and smaller. So I was considering just taking a generic bag, but this is much bigger than I thought it would be. It's like a good, decent size. Like this could be a weekend bag or an overnight bag. Like it's huge. All right. So that was the bag. And the rest of the stuff is all going to be in this big purple box. Once again, really beautiful packaging. Enjoy. Oh, I forgot. I did get another bag. I got this uh, bag for um, travel purposes. 
it was also like their insider sale and then they had a bunch of clearance items i definitely was shopping their sale items um insider just means you sign up for their emails um and you there's like certain days where people who are insiders if you're on their mailing list you get discounts um so this is the color it's just like kind of like purple with pink like the asterisk is like the Erin Condren symbol as a magnetic closure right here. And then it's one of those like hanging, how far back can I get? Hanging travel bags. But what I thought was cool about this one is that this is one is a quart size bag, clear bag. And you can like detach it and put it in like when you're going through securities. I thought that was a really cute idea for a reusable um, quart size bag. Um, so I thought that was a really good idea. We'll see if I can get it back on easily. How easy is it to get it back on? There we go. Okay. And then it just folds back up. So it's just a, I thought I would use this on my, like I said, my upcoming Pacific Coast trip. Um, and try to keep what I pack kind of simple. All right. So now we're moving into the actual stationery stuff. What you're here for. Okay. So this is the notebook that I got. Let's get it out. And I did get, there's this, like, artist called Etta V that does a lot of really beautiful, like, acrylic paintings that they put on their things. Um, so this is the notebooks I got. Like, these are, like, I think roses. I'm not sure, but just uh, acrylic flowers. I love acrylic as a painting medium. Um, so this is just a standard lined notebook and it also has like the months and the days so you can mark like when you're taking notes in it so i thought that would be good for church notes and i did get i did silver even though now that i see the gold dots maybe i should have done gold i don't know i thought the silver popped the best but i did just get the words church notes on there I thought we also, if there's time in this video, I try not to make my videos longer than maybe 30 minutes max because I know a lot of you don't like, oh, well, based on YouTube analytics <laughs> and stats, um, most people only watch maybe like eight minutes before they click off of a video. So I will definitely put timestamps below. If you're just here for the unboxing and you click out, fine. Um, or you can click to the end and watch like the uh, tester or whatever, but uh, maybe we'll do a separate video where we set up my Bible bag. So I got these highlighters, which are dual tip dot markers. So um, on this end, it's like this like curled, it's like a rounded end that you can make dots with. And then this end is just a standard highlighter and these are all of the colors really pretty and then I got these are one of the ones that I'm like the most excited about they're glitter highlighters I know I know so they're these colors and they are dual tip it looks like What does this say? I thought it said something at the end. I'm very confused though, because is it the kind where you have to like press it down to get the ink to come out? So we'll be testing this out. Let's see, with the cap on, gently shake the highlighter to mix ink before each use. For initial use, press the tip and keep holding down until the ink begins to flow recap highlighter. So we'll be testing that out. And then we also got these ultra fine tip black pens. I'm always looking for good gel pens. I'm pretty sure these are probably gel pens. But they are, they're these beautiful colors, but they're all 
just a standard. I can't get the lid off, y'all. Whoa. Okay. I can't get the lid off. Okay, this one, the lid's coming off. The other one's like sealed shut. It does have like a little cap on it. But we will test these out and we will see if I can get it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I was like, wow, that's not what come off. Okay. Fine tip highlighters. And we have lots and lots of colors. I don't know what a fine tip highlighter is. It does have the color name on it. So like this one says peony on it. So it is just a very thin highlighter. I thought like if these work on Bible paper, these would be great for underlining purposes. So we will see. Like I have my current favorite tools for Bible journaling um, and Bible notes, but we will see. And then these, this is the fall, did I order these? The fall fine tip markers. Maybe I just like the colors. So it is just kind of like a felt tip. Kind of like, I'm assuming kind of like my um, Le Pens that I love. I'm wondering if these are gonna be similar to that. So yeah, I got probably like a good $200. I'd have to add it all up for you guys and maybe I will and put like the numbers right here. Um, but I got like a good $200 probably worth of um, products and only paid like $30 um, because I did have to pay shipping still. Um, I'm super excited about all of these great products. So now we're going to head over to the table, like look down view and, um, yeah, test out these, these products. Let's go. Okay. So let's test out some of these products and do a, uh, shadow bleed through test. So I am again using, this is an old Bible of mine that if you saw my Bible collection video, um, where the front was coming out. So this is literally that front piece that came out. So we're going to be using this Bible as a tester. Um, so I'm just so excited about these glitter markers. So let's start with these. These are supposed to be glitter. Let me make sure I'm still in frame. Okay. So if men are fighting, hit a prey. <laughs> I'm in like Exodus right now. And the verse is if men are fighting, if men who are fighting hit a pregnant woman, she gives birth prematurely, but there is no serious injury. The offender must be fined, whatever the woman's husband demands, and the court allows. Uh, okay. The Old Testament. All right, let's see. I mean, it says it's supposed to be glitter. But I don't know if I see glitter. All right, let's see. Yeah, I don't know about y'all. The way it looked on the website was that, uh, it was actual, like, you could see glitter in the highlighter. But I don't know about you guys, but I don't see any glitter. Unless it's the other end. Let's try this, um, like, pinky purple, and then we'll see. <laughs> trying to see if I see the glitter here. Let's do, if a man steals an ox or a sheep, and slaughters it or sells it, he must pay back five head of cattle for the ox and four sheep for the sheep. Yeah, I don't see any glitter. Let's try the other end. I don't know why, guys, but whenever I start, like, randomly singing a song, it's always I'll Fly Away. It's like that song is, like, forever permanently stuck in my brain. I mean, don't get me wrong, I sing other songs, too, but... 
Probably that's like the, my like my brain's like go to filler. What songs do you randomly sing in your head? I'm like trying to see. I see nothing. I see no glitter. Am I crazy? Okay, I'm gonna show you the picture on the Erin Condren website, which is right here, of what it made it look like it was gonna be. I don't see that. Am I going crazy? It'd be hilarious if it was like seriously picking. Oh wait, I see some now. <gasps> I see a little. All right, mate, I wonder if y'all can see that. I like, it's from where I like scribbled. Here, I'm just gonna do, don't judge me. I'm gonna do a little bit of a scribble. Like this. I can see it now. I'm gonna kind of move it back and forth in hopes that it like catches the light and you guys can see it too, but it is not anywhere close to what it made it look like it was gonna be. I don't see it in the blue. Maybe it takes a little while. Like, let's keep going. Like, I wonder if the next part will glitter at all. Cause I feel like I can see it here, like in the tip but I'm just not seeing it. Okay, there it is. I see it a little. It's like it has to hit the light, but there is a glitter. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'll find out when I'm editing. All right, the next test is, is there any bleed through? Whoa. Yeah, that's a lot of bleed through. It didn't bleed and it even went all the way to the next page. So that was, and look at that, look at that. Okay, these are cool highlighters. I will use them for other purposes, probably in my, let's double check, in the back. Cause this is like super thick paper. This is like, I don't even know what pound paper is in these notebooks, but we will try it out here. Use this purple. Actually, let's do a, a good coloring too. Like you can usually safely use like even watercolor on this kind of paper. Yeah, so there's not even any ghosting really. Like you have to be really looking for it. So it's safe on journal paper, um, not safe. <laughs> On Bible paper. Okay, so those are the glitter markers. Let's try the fine tip markers. All right, so let's try this really pretty peach. See, I'm in all these logs. If a man gives his neighbor silver or goods for safekeeping and they are stolen from the neighbor's house, the thief, if he is caught, must pay back double. Let's try the gold. I'm curious to see how much it comes up. Oh, well, that's pretty good. But if the thief is not found, the owner of the house must appear before the judges to be to determine whether he has laid his hands on the other man's property. We'll do one more. In all cases of illegal possession of an ox, a donkey, a sheep, a garment, or any other lost property about which somebody says this is mine, both parties are to bring their cases before the judges. The one whom the judges declare guilty must pay back double to his neighbor. All right. So those are the fine tip markers and they bled too. Okay. So cannot use these. Let's try. I'm assuming these are probably fine. I do really love this peach though. really pretty. All right, I'm assuming it's fine on this paper. It's a little bit more shat. No, that's from the highlighter. Yeah, not really. There's no shadow or ghosting and it doesn't bleed at all. So those are good on regular, you know, heavier paper, but not on Bible paper. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same. All right, these are dual tip dot markers. 
let's go with this. I'm curious about these two colors. This one that almost looks like a grayish purple and this blue are both super pretty. All right, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you're supposed to be able to do this and make a dot. Like for a list, let's do it like it's an actual marker. It's not a highlighter, it's just a marker, so. But it is dual tip, so this side, in theory, it does just say marker. It's just a marker side. All right, let's try this like grayish purple out. That makes like a nice dot, look at that. It's so dark, it's like pretty much covering up the text all together. Cause like I said, it's not a highlighter. These are just markers. So we're just testing them out to see if they will bleed. Yeah. Whoa, look at it transferred over even onto the next like two pages through. So definitely don't use these dual tip markers in your, okay, now I'm curious. Let's try this super dark one. That blood there a lot. These are very liquidy, very water based. No, it held up in this this pound of paper. Okay, like I said, that those uh, Archer and Olive notebooks though are pretty heavy pound paper, and like I said, are supposed to be able to hold up even using watercolor. So I fully expect everything to hold up pretty good. All right, let's try out just these regular. Uh, Gel pens, they're all exactly the same, so I don't think it matters which one I get out. I just need to take the lid off. All right, we'll try it here. Oh wait, no, I thought these were gonna all be black. Oh, for some reason, I guess because it's, maybe it's the, the reflection of the purple. I thought that was purple for a second. Maybe it's just everything looks purple to me right now. All right, let's see. All right, it didn't bleed too much, but I feel like if you bear down hard enough, there would be, and there's definitely a lot of ghosting. Just for testing purposes, let's really bear down. Yeah, it will bleed through if you really go to town with it. All right. All right, so the last one is are these fine tip highlighters, which I was kind of excited about because I thought they might be good for underlining things in the Bible. All right, let's see. Let's do an actual highlight. And then we'll do one where we kind of like do an underline. I was so excited about this and I feel like none of these are Bible study appropriate, but it's okay. We can use them for other purposes. All right. All right. This one only did a little bit of bleed like right here on the edge. Um, but it's a, definitely a lot of ghosting. All right, so I think I will be sticking to my current tools that I have. Um, I am planning uh, like a full like tools I use and my method for Bible study soon. So you'll definitely be seeing that soon. But I think we're gonna go ahead and stop this video here because I feel like we're probably like running over time. Um, but yeah, so I can definitely use these highlighters for work purposes. I can use it in my Bible study notebook, um, but I can't really use it in an actual Bible on Bible paper um, because lots and lots of bleed through. Makes me sad, but it's okay. But I do still have, this was definitely a win. I'm very excited about using this. Stay tuned for a setup of my 
church, um, basically my Bible study, my, what am I trying to say? My church tote, I guess. Like, I'm not taking a big bag. I'm just talking about, like, my Bible cover tote thing. Um, so stay tuned for that, where we put this notebook in. I don't think I'm going to do, I mean, maybe I'll add some stickers to this notebook, but I'm not going to do a loft setup with this and then setting up like what pens and things I'm going to take with me. Um, but yeah, so super excited about that. If you love Bible study related videos and content, I know this one was more kind of stationary related. Um, I wanted to share my new notebook with you and then test out these products to see if they would work in a notebook, but it looks like we might need to stay away from Erin Condren stationary products for Bible study and writing on regular Bible paper. Makes me very sad, but unfortunately it is not going to work. Um, I always recommend anytime you get a new pen, always flip to like maybe like the back of your Bible, you know, like those like like any page where it's not like important information and do like a test with any new tool you get before you use it like on like your actual study pages, like reading the Bible because you don't want to ruin your actual pages. So always, do, you know, flip to the back of your Bible and do like a little test in the back of your Bible. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you love this particular video, if you love uh, testing out products on Bible paper, um, definitely hit that like button. And if you love Bible study content in general, we do a lot of that here. This channel is all about my personal spiritual journey to rediscover my faith in our Christian God and discover my what and my why as with, with as regard as with regard to what I believe personally. Um, and we do mostly Bible study related content because I'm really diving in and really studying God's word and really learning what the Bible says and who God is at this point in my life. And we will do a few hot topics, but mostly Bible study related content on this channel. So if any of that sounds interesting and you'd like to follow along with me on this journey, um, then definitely hit that subscribe button as well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video, guys. And don't forget that God has not forgotten you and we are in this together. I'm here for you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.